Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another video. Just got back from a short ride. It's a great day today in London, uh, sunny, very nice temperature. One of the first hurdles that getting a road bike you will come across is getting a clipless pedal and getting used to have your feet clipped into the pedals. First of all, before I start, I want to thank every one of you that watch my videos and put a like or a comment or subscribe. I really appreciate this and uh, thank you very much for your support so far. So, as uh, many of you, I got my road bike with flat pedals and I wanted to straight away put a clipless pedal to feel more the engagement and uh, get the best power out of the uh, bike that I could. I went for road pedals. Some uh, suggest that you could go also go uh, mountain bike pedals. They are easier to start with. They are double-sided. I went straight to um, road pedals. There's no right or wrong here. It's really a personal choice. And with the uh, road pedals, I went for uh, Shimano classic choice. The yellow cleats. These are the ones that gives you a little bit more float. So if you're not sure about the position. These are the best to start with and you have yellow, blue and red with different grades of floats. The blue have a slightly less float and the red are completely fixed. So I never use anything different from the yellow. For me they are perfectly adequate for what I need to do. These are very worn by the way. In the choice of pedal I went for the Shimano R550 because uh, like anything else in my bike experience I wanted to get the best value for the uh, less money these have very good reviews they say people don't notice much of a difference between the high-end pedals the 105 Ultegra or even more uh, they come at a very good price but this one felt great from the start I've never changed anything the tension I left at the factory setting and it wasn't too difficult for me to get used to them. In my opinion, you will need to decide which foot you will predominantly leave clipped in. And that was for me the easiest way to learn how to ride the clipless pedals. So I am uh, right-handed. What I usually do, 99.9% .9 of the time, I clip my, my right foot I start riding and then I clip my left foot. When I arrive to a stop, I unclip the left foot, leave the right foot clipped in and when I start again the ride, you start pedaling with the right foot, clip the left and so and so forth. So this way you will get used to have one foot always engaged and the other one uh, you will uh, unclip and balance out on the ground or on the pavement curb, whatever you, you want to, to lean on. Um, in this way for me it's easier because you will learn how to balance your way all the time in the same way when you come to a stop. Leaning on one side all the time is easier to remember. So as you know the clipping motion you point and you push it down and it clips a sideway motion to unclip and free your pedal. At, the fir at first it's quite disconcerting because it's not quite a natural movement so you have to practice a few times. So once you get clipped in and you get used to this movement then you can start looking at how you placed your, your clip. First mistake I did put the clip too far forward so in this case you do get usually a lot of pain in the calves it becomes quite hard to pedal and uh, it's really uncomfortable you want to if you haven't had the bike fit haven't had the bike fit I uh, try different position for me putting this backwards that was the ideal preference. You want to explore, don't be afraid to, to move it forward or backwards and see how they feel. At the same time, 
you want to make sure that the shoe is pointing in the right direction and you can do this by slightly adjusting the angle of the cleats this is another very very important element for the fluid motion to avoid uh, for example flaring the knees or pointing the toes in the wrong position and you will feel by pedaling a lot more and more that your foot doesn't feel right and your ankle doesn't feel right if you have placed the clip in the wrong angle this is very very important because that can really affect your ride at first uh, you will not notice it you will start feeling on longer rides and you will need to develop uh, more and more attention in understanding how your body works um, in the first few rides I always ride with a um, spanner to adjust position because it's not easy to get it right once I got the front and back the angle is tricky so most of the time you need bit by bit uh, changes in a way the cleats are positioned the idea is to be able to naturally pedal and keeping the knees towards the center of the bike now this is a concept that at first it was difficult for me because if you go to the gym usually in a squatting position when you want to lift weight you usually have a stance that is your shoulder width apart and when you drop down your knee naturally flare out to give you the best um, the best stance on the bike it's different because on the bike you don't have a wide stance between the pedals so if your foot are close flaring the knees is not actually efficient you want to have the knees straight close to get the best motion when you place your cleats if your toe is pointing too far outside it might flare the knee and it will, might reduce the power that you transfer to the bike so ideally you want the foot straight if it works with all your mechanics to make sure that your knees are actually closer to the bike to the center tube rather than flaring out so again for me that really worked well first of all learning how to clip in and clip out for the safety purpose then decide which foot you are going to leave predominantly clipped in so it's easy for you to remember which way to lean and we become out automatic so in case of an emergency you will straight away unclip the foot and position the bike in the right position and making sure that you practice more and more again the clip back in moment facilitating the position of the engaging uh, the clip Feel free to comment your experience below and uh, how do you prefer your, your cleats. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Ciao.